Greetings, folks. Here we are at Trackside at Kelly, Kentucky. We got IO25 meeting L391. On the Henderson subdivision. L25, I'm sorry, IO25 is running early today because the office car special today is running down the Henderson and subdivision from Chicago. So kind of keep an eye out this afternoon. I plan on doing a live stream or two if I can on the uh, office car special move it's not supposed to be down in the uh, into Kentucky until about three o'clock or 3 30 or some long, somewhere along those times behind the uh, local here l391 is io28 which is also running early for the same reason all these intermodals you see here are running with uh, can't remember the name of the car now, but uh, expensive cars. We'll swing around here, give you a different view something different. They have a slow order through here as they've been working on this crossing. Good morning, Theron. Appreciate everybody joining me today here on Jim Pearson Photography. If you just joined me, this is IO25 heading south and it's meeting um, a local L391 here. And behind L391 is IO28. Here's the north end of Kelly, Kentucky, on the Henderson subdivision. Got a roll by inspection going on here.
if you're just joining us, this is uh, IL-25 passing L-391 at South, I'm sorry, Kelly, Kentucky, on the Henderson Subdivision. IL-25 is running early today because the uh, CSX Office Car Special is running this afternoon on the uh, Henderson Subdivision. Currently it's up in Illinois. I will be doing a live stream at least once, maybe twice, depending on how quickly he moves. Beautiful day here. Thanks, Ralph, for the kind words. I appreciate it. And it's my pleasure. All you told, you can't see it. This is a three-way meet here. The siding here at Kelly is about two and a half miles, roughly, in length. And uh, they were able to get uh, two trains in it, one of them being uh, another hot intermodal, IO-28. They will clear this uh, L391 to go pretty quickly because they don't want to hold up that uh, intermodal that's behind him. So he should pull out pretty much after, pretty quick after the uh, train gets by him and they get a signal. And then behind him will be uh, IO28. So we're going to just stay here for this parade and uh, continue this live stream. May have a slight interruption, waiting for the signals to change, but uh, it shouldn't take them very long. All right, he's got a green. He should be leaving here momentarily. There he goes. L391, the local that runs between Caskey. Caskey and Hopkinsville, Kentucky and Madisonville, Kentucky at Atkinson Yards. Thanks on the comments on the caption there for me. 
L391 is usually about 1,200 feet long. IO25 normally runs about uh, 10 to 12,000 feet. And the IO28, which will be coming next, uh, typically runs between 8 and 10,000 feet on average. Thanks, folks. I appreciate your kind comments. Old MKT cars. All right. Well, it shouldn't be very long, but uh, IO28 is right behind this train. So he should be moving here pretty soon. IO28. Northbound at Crofton, Kentucky. I'm sorry, Kelly, Kentucky. <laughs> CSXT 43 leading today. IO 28, departing the siding at Kelly, Kentucky on the CSX Henderson subdivision. Kelly, Kentucky is one of my favorite spots to uh, shoot and watch trains. Plus, it's a spot that has good cell service so I can live stream. If you're asking questions and stuff, I can't really see the comments because uh, 
the heat's caused my phone to dim down. So I have to respond to your questions later on. Plan on being trackside for the majority of the day today because of this uh, office car special that's coming. Should be down on the Henderson subdivision between 3 and 4 o'clock. Last word I got. All the empty well cars going back up to Chicago for another load. All right, folks, here comes the tail end of our train, three train meet here at Kelly, Kentucky. If you happen to be on trackside today, as always, stay safe and have a blessed day.